This is the new 2019 BMW 7 Series, more specifically the BMW 750i. When BMW gave me a choice of the 7 Series, I think I jumped the gun a little bit and opted for the big engine short wheelbase model. The BMW 7 Series has always been a car where the passenger is the one that really reaps the reward of the journey. When it comes to comfort, luxury and style, the 7 Series has it all. The 750i still has bags of luxury to it, but I should have taken out the long wheelbase luxury edition, which includes reclining seats, TV screens, tablets, and pretty much anything else you'd find in a home cinema. The new 7 Series comes with a lot of tech. This includes an updated parking assistant that now allows you to reverse all the way back up to 50 meters on the exact same course you drove in on. A great feature to have to get you out of sticky situations, particularly if you're the driver of the long wheelbase model and want to impress your celebrity client sitting in the back seat. The petrol units run a 4.4 litre V8 that produces 523 bhp and 530 foot-pounds of torque. This is found in the 750i xDrive and the 750li xDrive. The range-topping M760 Li xDrive sits at the top of the chain, boasting a massive 6.6 litre V12 engine, which gives you 577 horsepower and 626 foot-pounds of torque. So, now we know all about the 7 Series, it's about time to see what this thing's like to drive. You don't think I'm going to drive this 7 Series. This is all about luxury. So, I've got a driver who's going to help me out. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to be chilling in here. Oh. 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 Whoa. Well, this is nice. Ah, oh, Mr. Steph. Mr. Petrol Ped. Where would you like to go today, sir? Uh, I would just like you to take me for a bit of a cruise around these beautiful oh. areas around Soho Farmhouse. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. How are you? I'm very good, mate. Don't Welcome. you like these dangly little bits on the... Um... Mm. So what are we in, mate? We're in the 2019 New 7 Series, a place of luxury. We are. And this yeah. is the big engine one. This is, this is the proper 750, one. 750, the proper one with lots of go. That, that's a <laughs> hefty nuts. bit of kit, yeah. But the thing Absolutely is, nuts. I, I think it's always a difficult one. This is why I'm, I'm trying to position this video slightly different because most of the time I come on these and I get in a car and absolutely hoon it. But I don't think this car is necessarily all about that. I mean, right now, I don't know, I don't know about you, we'll probably get on the part for what it feels like to drive because you're, you're doing that for me today. But <laughs> I'm in the lucky seat. You're or in the lucky I? seat. Well, I don't know. I think I am because, I mean, back here, Wow, I've got a lot of legroom here. And comfort around the back here is pretty insane. But yeah, so, um, I mean, how's the steering rate, first of all? It's very, th listen, this car is very, very lovely to drive. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've got all the mod cons up here. Clearly underneath my right foot is... Oh, a lot of punch. That's a <laughs> yeah. lot of punch. <laughs> And, yeah. I and I think because of it being quite so heavy, I think that's where almost this car, um, it's almost beneficial for the car because it's so heavy and with so much grunt, it will always put the power down. Yeah. This being an X-Drive model as well, four wheel drive, yeah. it's going to be pretty rare to get unstuck here. But, Especially today, it's a beautiful yeah. sunny day, dry road surface, but... Mate, I'll tell you what. So have you, have you driven any of the 7 Series before? Is this your I have one? driven a 7 Series before. Um, I drove a 750 actually, but I had a puncture. <laughs> <laughs> um, and ended up having to be recovered because we couldn't get a tyre. Oh and dear. The, and yeah, oh dear. So, so it wasn't a good experience, so it's nice to get behind the wheel of the new one. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, this, this new car, it looks absolutely superb. I really like the uh, the cream interior as well. Mm. I think it just sets off a lot of the kind of the, the black contrast nicely. So these things, are, we've got a nice armrest here. I mean, this is it's a place of luxury. I'm guessing if you own space. one of these, though, you would, if you, because the nice thing about a car like this, you can drive it, yeah. and it's a really lovely place to drive, yeah. but you can be driven in it. And, and I guess if you... If you bought one of these to be driven in, you'd spec out more stuff in the back, right? You'd have yeah, like a TV and, um, and like an almost like an office space in the back. Yeah, because I mean there are, I mean the level of options that come on the seven series, the new seven series, is unbelievable. Yeah. And actually, I think if I'm being brutally honest, I think whilst this has got great spec, this is probably one of the lesser spec cars because <laughs> you can spec in TV screens on the back seats. You can pull this thing down. Oh, and you can get a center console in here, which effectively is a tablet, which you can control the car. You can control all of the kind of surrounding LEDs of the car. You can control everything with it. You can also even, I think, spec in a fridge back here. Really? 
which is pretty insane. Now again, you know, you talk about the part about you buy one of these, you want to be driven in it. Yeah. I think I would definitely be specking in the fridge. But, can, you, um, can you spec a YouTuber to drive you around all day? Or yeah, I think I think today we they don't come. They don't come yeah. expensive, mate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't want to miss sell the product. By the way, <laughs> uh, Petrol Pet doesn't come with the new Seven Series. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know. Yeah. No, 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 I think you did quite a good job there. So one of the things I didn't mention in the video, which I'm going to show you now, is because the one that we were in didn't have the kind of reclining seat, but this, I have managed to find one of the BMW UK press cars, which does have the entire full kind of luxury spec. Now, the first thing you'll see is that you've got all of the kind of seat controls here, which allow you to kind of raise, oh, I just dropped my glasses, which allow you to kind of raise the seat, drop the seat, push the seat forward, and really kind of enhance that kind of luxury experience. You've also got the screens here. The other thing which we have here is, of course, the media tablet which I can pretty much control everything that I want from here you can see the navigation is on here I can adjust the media I can literally do everything on which is really cool um, and it's actually a very very nice touch and then just plug it straight back in and off you go I mean from a, from a comfort perspective as in ride quality back here which is pretty much really what this is all about I'm not feeling any undulations in the road because this is pretty horrendous tarmac actually to be fair yeah. it's quite a few potholes about and I'm sitting here, chilled out, comfort. And, it, and it's got pretty big wheels and pretty low profile tires. So, yeah. you know, the, the suspension setup. But when you get to a corner, it's, you know, there's no body roll and, and yeah. stuff. It's it's uh, very sure footed around the corners. So based on the fact that this is the quick, the quick model. S64. It goes, doesn't it? <laughs> it goes it it definitely goes. It's the fastest moving meeting you'll ever have. <laughs> yeah. In fact, that's actually another good point. I, I come back to this part, which I guess the center armrest, uh, on some of the highly spec models of this car, you can actually spec in almost like a plane table. So you know when you're sitting on a flight, you can pull out this table. So you literally can have an office here. You can also have these, the, I don't know if this one does it, I'm gonna have to do a bit of searching, but you have a, a kind of full reclining mode, which will send this front seat all the way forward. This one comes back and you are literally living the first class dream. Yep. I really want to do that. I don't know how to do it. Though. See, the, the other thing I find that's interesting about cars like this is, I guess if, if you're in the market for a car like this, you're an executive, you're going to be driven, you're going to be working in the back, you'd probably also be thinking about things like Rolls-Royce, yeah. um, the big Bentley, yeah, yeah, S-Class, Mercedes. Big S-Class. What I like about this car is you fly under the radar. From the outside, it kind of doesn't look that ostentatious, yeah. it, especially in this spec. It's kind yeah. of completely murdered out this car. Yeah, black actually, wheels, black. Yeah. And I like that. I do too. There is one thing I don't like, and I'm always I'm always very open and honest, and this is a press trip, and I will still say my opinion. <laughs> For those who say I only suck up to BMW, um, <laughs> the grill at the front. Now, I don't know what's going on with that. Personal preference, and I know some people like it. I know that the, the design really is to go kind of bigger, bolder, to emphasize the fact that this is a BMW. The kidney grill is BMW's iconic, I guess, iconic part on a car. Everyone sees the grill and recognizes it's a BMW. But for crying out loud, you don't need to make one the size of the front bonnet to let people know it's a BMW. For me, it's quite big. It's too big, personally. I'm eating wildlife as I drive along. Yeah, yeah. And, and but it, it is very clever as well, I think. Um, and whilst for me, personally, I'm not a real fan of the way it looks, um, I do like the idea behind it. So it's got these kind of slats which open and close depending on when the engine requires additional cooling, which is fantastic. And then, for example, when you're hooning it down a motorway somewhere, rather than sucking up every single bug on, uh, on the motorway to get them into your air intake, it can close. Uh, so that's quite clever. Um, but I mean, I, Oh, this has laser lights. Have you experienced laser lights before? Uh, no, but unfortunately it's daylight, so we're not going to get that yeah, today. It's been oh, I'm a fail. Right. Oh, I'm going to miss my junction, man. Chauffeur. Oh, dear. Unacceptable driving. Let's, let's go through this garage. You're sacked. Look, here, look. <laughs> look and people so, will think you're really important sat in the back. Well, you know, yeah, we should probably turn around and say, oh, hi, yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, hi, hi. I'm, I'm just I'm a, a YouTuber. Really, uh, great Nothing YouTuber. to see here. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, we're going to get stuck in the petrol forecourt. The other thing as well, which is great, I think on all the newer modern BMWs, now they haven't completely unlocked autonomous driving yet, but what they do have is they do have the lane assist and I guess semi-autonomous driving. Now for those who have been subscribed to my channel, will know that uh, Joe Achilles and I took an eight series uh, to Geneva. Uh, and that car pretty much drove 80% of the journey itself. And this car kind of follows suit. I can see on the steering wheel that you do have the kind of adaptive, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, etc., yep. which is good. But I mean, what, what else from a driving perspective? 
Mr. Well, Petrol Pet. Well, we're now on a nice bit of uh, flowing road, having made a slight uh, navigational error. I've got a head-up display. I'm in sport mode at the moment, so head-up display has a slightly different uh, view. I've got a view of my revs as well as um, speed and navigation, because we're on a press trip, so we've got a navigation route planned in. Um, and it's it's very nice. It is, isn't it? It sounds great. Yeah. It, it kind of sounds purposeful, but not shouty. I don't think this kind of car would do well with a really barky shouty exhaust, but it just sounds nice. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's. I don't think it's the market for that in the sense that. Well, you never know. You know, you might have some 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 singers with mo the money falling out of their eyeballs who want an extra noise to let everything, everyone know that they're here. But it is. I think it's a more. Oh, oh wow, that is good punch, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> I've now gone to the manual uh, shift on the. Oh, you see, I'm enjoying myself now. <laughs> Yes. Been thrown around at the back there, no, sir. No, I'm I'm all right. I'm all right. Interesting enough, I'm just looking at the way you're you're navigating that steering wheel. Is it? It looks quite direct. It's pointy. very. Um, I have to say that it's got really good road manners, considering it weighs two and a half tons. Um, it's clearly got all the power to to overcome that that mass, but you don't feel the mass in the corner as well. It, it's yeah. oh, it's a BMW. It, it? it kind of feels beautiful in the corners. Very impressive car. Yeah, no, I agree. So I think my verdict as a passenger, <laughs> top notch. First impressions of the new BMW 7 Series. I'm a fan. Uh, I'm a fan of being a passenger. I haven't driven it yet, but uh, that doesn't matter because this is probably the one car which for me personally, oh, I couldn't care less how it drives because as a passenger, this is the experience and this is why I think you would have one of these. And I guess in fact, Pete, final summary on how it drives. Oh yeah, absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Awesome. We're at the destination, sir. Yeah, much appreciated. I'm a, I'm a fan of this. Anyway, here we'll do. Oh uh, yeah, there we go, sir. Uh, five stars on the old uh, Uber. No, no, Thank my you. pleasure, my pleasure. Well, this is weird. I get to take over Steph's channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, share. Um, thank you for watching Steph ABTV. Uh, I've been Petroped. He's been Steph ABTV. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Nice